size font should you use when you put words on your PowerPoint slides? The answer to that question will be found in your next daily dose of public speaking wisdom. Yesterday you heard about using certain types of fonts to make it easy for your audiences to read. This tip is all about the size of font. If you're like me, if you've been to any presentations lately, you know that people still put too much information in too small a font. How can you determine the size of the font you should use? The answer to this is actually pretty simple. Go to the venue where you're going to speak. Sit in the farthest seat from the screen that you'll be using. And if you can't go, ask the meeting planner to, to measure it off for you. What's the farthest distance a person will be sitting to, to look at your screen? Then put your PowerPoint slide up. If you can read it, then the letters are big enough. If not, you've got to increase the size or eliminate those words. I find it off-putting, if not insulting, when a speaker puts up a slide that obviously is too small and says something like this. Well, I'm sorry, I know some of you can't read this slide. Then why in the hell did you put it up? Well, clearly, I have a bit of a passion for this, but I, I cannot stand speakers who don't respect their audiences enough to give them information that's useful or to put slides up that they can't read. And you're wasting people's time. If you're going to put words up on slides, again, the fewer the better. Make it big enough so everybody can see it or leave it off. It's that simple. Respect your audience enough to put things on the slide that are relevant and that they can use. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.